What's up, you fucks? I'm uh, trying a different video format, as you can tell. And uh, I don't know if I like it. I would be like, this is an awful angle. Whatever. Let's just roll with it for this time. Who cares? Um, so I went to KFC. KFC has these new bowls. Well, they're not new. Well, they are new. I think they've had them before, actually. They have mac and cheese bowls now. They've had the famous bowl for a long time. I think they've done the mac and cheese bowl in the past. I had a friend named Cody who actually invented these mac and cheese bowls because it turns out even if you just get the famous bowl, you can ask them, hey, can I get the famous bowl, but can you replace the mashed potatoes with uh, mac and cheese? And so, yeah. Um, I did, I tried that a couple times. I don't like asking for weird substitutions most of the time, so I haven't ordered it too many times, but man, it's good. The thing is though, if you do mac and cheese instead of the mashed potatoes, you want, you really should be asking for them to add gravy. Their instinct is to not add gravy because it's mashed potatoes and gravy. It's not just mashed potatoes. And then they're like, Hey, what if I throw some gravy on this? You know? So if it's mac and cheese, it's like a full substitution. They're not going to give you the gravy. Unless you ask for it. But hey, the gravy, it really works. It really makes it good. I feel like, isn't this so glowing to you guys? It's, yeah. The front-facing camera has less light detection. But I can't see it if uh, if it's not the front-facing camera. So I can't use, like, the good camera of the camera. Whatever. Uh. I got spicy? They come in spicy and not spicy. That's that's what's new. I gotta figure out a better way to do this, huh? It would be better if I didn't shoot it in my car. <laughs> and if my car wasn't full of fucking garbage. So yeah, man, we're losing light, aren't we? The spice level is good. The chicken is crispy. Um, it looks like there's chicken, they use popcorn chicken, which is fine. The thing about Nashville hot chicken is that you dip the chicken in like a spicy oil. It changes the texture of the breading and kind of dissolves a little bit from it. And it makes it like a more delicate and crisper kind of uh, texture as opposed to, you know, a harder crunch. But the spice level is really good. You know, the shredded cheese isn't doing a lot since it's um, mac and cheese as a base, but it is, it, it does actually help a little, little tiny bit, but it's like, you probably need more shredded cheese to really get it. But the famous bowls used to have corn and the corn really helps because if it's just like, it's just mashed, and mashed potatoes and gravy and chicken, it's like, I mean, okay. They do make a nice combination. Um, but it just feels a little lacking in terms of like a cohesive meal. Again, it's just like, it doesn't have, like it really, if, if it had corn, <laughs> I think that would be really good. Um, it would probably be better. These little pops of corn in there. Pops of corn, what about a popping corn? I don't know, I was actually pretty excited to try this. It's not bad, but something about it is underwhelming. I don't know, man, it's starting to, it's, it seems a little bit like um, fast food is kind of cheap and lackluster compared to other food. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the KFC hot chicken can vary wildly by location. The place I go is like a pretty common place that I go to a lot. It's like my standard place. But I've been to other KFCs and got the hot chicken and it just fucking sucks. It's just absolute dog shit. If your KFCs are kind of tenuous, I wouldn't even bother trying this. I would definitely just go like a regular famous bowl with the mashed potatoes, not even the mac and cheese. Yeah, just a little lackluster. My favorite part is just the spicy mac and cheese because the spicy oil kind of integrates with the mac and cheese and you get some, you know, some forks of that, some sporks of that, you know, it, it kind of just makes spicy mac and cheese, which is... Honestly, that's really good. <laughs> so if it were just spicy mac and cheese, it almost might be better. It's not, it's not quite enough. Whatever, I would say three sporks. What about that? What if I just started doing sporks now? Now get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, I forgot. There's also, uh, KFC also has the Sweet Lightning Mountain Dew. I've talked about this in life, like on Twitter and stuff. I don't think I've talked about it on, on these videos, but 
Sweet Lighting Mountain Dew. It's really good. Um, if I get Sweet Lighting Mountain Dew, I get the large size because I don't just want to drink a normal amount. I want to drink like a ton of it. I wish they put it in bottles and cans. It's really good. It's like a peach flavor. It's supposed to be peach and honey flavored, but I can't, I can't taste the honey. You gotta get the fucking Sweet Lightning Mountain Dew. I've been to some KFCs that are bad. I don't know if their machines were off or if that's just how they do it, but it didn't have like enough syrup in it. So it wasn't like, it tasted kind of like flavorless. I'd say it's, it's my favorite Mountain Dew out of all the Mountain Dews that I've had, which is really saying something, I think. You know, I really like Mountain Dew. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'd put this on the top of the heap. So you gotta, you gotta check it out. Man, it's getting too dark. I gotta, I gotta record these earlier in the day, huh?